Sean Shocks here and I decided to get out of the studio for a change and explore a bit of Berlin because I haven't seen that much of the city yet and I thought it would be much more interesting for you guys if I invited some of the LCS players out. So I'm very excited to be picking up our first special guest. Hi! Hello! Good morning! Good morning! Jankos, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's 9 a.m. so I usually don't get up that early but I think you definitely no, don't get no, up no. that I mean, early. Every player wakes up at like 11, 12. I mean we don't wake up like so early. Like my brain is still sleeping, my body is kind of moving but you know. But so. we're gonna wake up, we're gonna have some fun today. Are you excited? I, I, I mean I'm excited you know. I'm, I'm very curious what do you have for me so like. Well, I'm not see. gonna tell you yet but let's go. So what do you usually do to move and, and be away from the gaming house? Well, normally we go to the gym every morning. That's like our only activity All whatsoever. Right. Well, and cinema and restaurant and like, you know, yeah, some the cafeteria. Good life, the good and the good life, yeah. Well, today I'm going to take you to something that is very Berlin and it is a lot of activity. Like pub? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> and it is, yeah, sporty. Do you have any idea? Um, no. It's on ice? It's on ice? Yeah, it's, so it's ice like skating. Uh, ice skating. Yeah. Have you ever done that? i never done ice skating. Oh, that surprises uh, me. Uh, yeah. Because uh, you're from Poland, so I guess it's usually very cold, so you guys go skating on the lake or this sort of Yeah, thing. I mean, I did some gliding on a lake, you know, so like with my shoes, mm -hmm. like no, no like skating Discount stuff. Discount skating. Yeah. It's fun though, like you go on a lake and it's frozen and it's just like, you It's know, super fun. Yeah, it's super fun. But I do like, think yeah. it's a bit more difficult, the skating, if you've never done it before. I hope it's like riding a bike, mm -hmm. so it's just like kind of fall a couple of times and then you learn how to do that. It's exactly the same. You fall a couple of times, you get up and you're confident and you stay on the ice and I'll help you. Oh, you will help me. Okay, that's fine. You'll be fine. We'll take care of you. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. All right, we're here. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. These are yours. These are mine. Yeah, okay, manly, thank you. Uh, yes, very big, very mainly. Yes, yeah. black, everything fits nice. All right. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. No. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> Holy shit, but it's so hard to keep them together. I mean, maybe I'm just noob. I mean, I'm just noob. <laughs> she fell, she fell, she fell. Aha, jokes on her. Oh, 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 oh. Holy moly. It's not as easy as I wanted it to be. <laughs> it's, not, it's not riding a bike. <laughs> ice walking. It's ice walking. Yeah. It's new sport. It's for, <laughs> it's for gamers. It's okay. ice walking. All right, just little step. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. You say. <laughs> so how was it, or how is it? Uh, it's it's really difficult, but I, I think I can get like a hang of it. But yeah. I had to hold the wood, you know, because yeah. otherwise it's like hard. But I think it's manageable. Like what if about I would, the penguin? Oh yeah, the penguin helps a lot, like if you are new, I think. Like yeah. I just hold to the penguin and then I just like slide, kind of. If, if you had to describe the experience in a Polish word, what would it be? <laughs> you had... It was uh, bardzo dobrze. Bardzo dobrze? <laughs> bardzo dobrze, So that's yes. good, or? Yeah, that means like very good, you know? Okay. Like I, I'm really noob, that's why it wasn't like great, but it was really good. Do I you think it. you could be a professional ice skater one day? I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a lot of school kids here and stuff. What would you what were you like when you were in school? I think in school I was very similar to what I am now. So like Which you know, is? Which is a clown kind of. <laughs> like a guy that makes jokes and like the funny guy, you know? So I think it's like very similar to what I am now in the team, you know? Yeah, I I'm think pretty so. sure if you would like talk to my like you know team members I'm pretty sure they would say I'm a great guy and you know I, I'm flawless in game and like the best overall. So uh, no but I see that also when you do like interviews and stuff, you just basically you're always happy and you 
you speak your mind. You're not shy. I'm very I think positive. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I was shy though when I uh, started my pro career. I remember. You remember when we one or one of the first times you were going to be on the desk and you're like, I'm not sure if I should do this. And you've changed so much since Yay! then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you want to do another uh, another round? Yeah. Let's let's right, go. Let's, let's go. Yeah, let's try. Let's try my best. <laughs> I feel like a child and I have you as well. It's faster, it's faster for sure. That's so easy. That's so easy. What would you like to be remembered for as a player, as a person during your career? I mean, I think that, you know, I'm a clown, but not everyone knows it. Like people that watch my streams know it, but they are, you know, mainly Polish viewers. But I think, you know, I'm the first Blood King as for now. Yes. So that's something, that's an achievement. Yeah. And um, I really hope to go to World Finals again this year. So right now, you know, I'm happy where I am and I will just try my best to like be at the top again All at right. the end of the year. So is there anyone that inspires you to be better or be the best or like a hero? Yeah, of course. You're going to say Faker, aren't you? Yeah. I would say Faker if yeah. you wouldn't say Faker. You know, if you would ask me two, three years ago, and I would have to talk about League, I would probably say Diamond Brooks because back then he was a good player. He was a god, you know. He performed well and he had a lot of achievements. You know, Faker is an obvious answer, like you said. I think he's like crazy good and he's still like really good. And I had a great opportunity to talk to him on All Star. Yeah. When he talks, I'm like... <laughs> Are you stressed? Uh... A little bit, yeah. I was really excited. And uh... What did he say? What did you talk about? Oh, well... I actually can't say, oh. but what he said, you know, to me, Fee, not to me, was that Europe doesn't know how to lose. And I think this sentence is very important. Doesn't know how to lose. Yeah, because I do believe that Korean teams, when they lose, they can improve so much from it and they don't give up on emotions. So many people in Europe, including me, react on emotions a lot. Yeah. And that's what makes it hard to like strive for victory and you know, everyone is emotional, so after you lose, you're down, and then mm -hmm. you have one or two days bad of screams. You let the lose affect you, and they don't do it, you know? So ever since you heard that, is that something you try to work on? Yeah, I, I, I really try to work on it. I think it's, like, really important. But yeah, it's, like, so easy, you know? It sounds so easy, but it's actually so hard to do it, you know? If I'd ask you about what you would want to achieve still, I know being world champion is every pro player's goal, but besides that, what do you really want to achieve? I think that I really want to win European split. I didn't manage to do so. I actually never went to the finals. I, I was always you know, third, third fourth. So um, this is my goal for this season. And I think we can do it as H2K. I think everyone has like the drive. W would the year be a disappointment if you don't win the European split? I wouldn't say so. I think that there's so many good teams. So I can like strive to improve like way more again because you know I know this guy made it like because he he was working really hard and he was working you know and you got beaten me. by the better yeah. by the better team yeah. all right so i gave you a bit of homework to see your creative side i asked you to design a champion so what uh, what did you do i did do my homework i will present you my champion right now yeah. there it is it he is called hoi the long because of the long axe, this presents like the element of fire and ice and like earth kind of, and he has huge biceps, which is very important. Mm -hmm. So is he, a, what is he mainly, a mage? Is he a tank? Is he a marksman? He's basically a mage, assassin, tank, support, everything? jungler, everything, except for the marksman. Yeah. Because you know, marksman 2017, it's not the year you want to kind of play the marksman, right? Oh. The ult yeah. is like the coolest one. So basically, he uses the mini dagger with the elements, to create a huge ass meteor, a huge ass meteor of yeah. glorious destruction, which will win you the whole game okay. instantly. Super overpowered. Super overpowered. Nice. That's my champion. And obviously, at the end of it, you know, you don't actually like come up with a champion if you don't have a skin for the yeah, champion, true. right? You thought so, of that too? Yeah, you, I, I, I did. So he looks very similar. <laughs> I have to give it to you. You can present it to the viewers. <laughs> Is it $50 it's a fifty dollar skin. skin, you know. It has a poro. That's all you need to know, basically. Maybe it doesn't look that good, but it has a poro, so basically it's like. A oh, riot. It has a poro on the. Yeah, it has a poro right. and a smiley face on his head, so like yeah. kind of riot skin, you know. We so. can see what's important to you. Yeah. yeah well, uh, thank you very much. I think this is a fantastic concept, and just thank you so much for spending this day with me, going to the ice, and telling me a bit more about you. I'm grateful as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.